Hello everyone, I'm Professor Sean Stewart. I'm your professor for this class, Speech 1318 Interpersonal Communication Online for the Summer 2017 May Mini-Mester. Uh, this course is housed out of University Park, just in case you take a class on other campuses. And that's where my office is located in case you get, need to get in contact with me. I'm just going to briefly go over the course syllabus. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 or maybe 15 minutes. But I'm going to try to answer any questions that you have. If you have more questions, I will have a discussion board available and open throughout the entirety of this May mini semester, where you can ask questions and get questions answered. And I ask that you put those questions in that discussion board because there's a possibility that your classmates might have a similar or the same question. The first thing I really want to emphasize is this here at the beginning of the syllabus. You signed up for a May mini semester course. This is an accelerated course, meaning everything we're doing is compressed within three to three and a half weeks. So think about a normal class during this fall or the spring semester. For this mini semester course, we're collapsing four and a half months of information into three weeks. That means, yes, there's most likely something due every single day. If you can't log on to this D2L course every single day, I don't know if this is the class for you. You might want to send me an email to ask questions, but it's expected because this is such a very, very fast paced course, faster than a summer course. It's expected that you're logging on every single day. And I'm not talking about once a day. I'm talking about multiple times a day. Pretty soon you'll start to get an idea of what I'm talking about once we go over the course calendar. Um, if you need to get in contact with me, the best way to do that is through email and D2L. My, several of you have already contacted me that way. Keep in mind, I have two email addresses, one in D2L and one for my faculty email address. You're emailing me in D2L. This email is only for emergencies. If for some reason you need to meet in a more personal uh, format or a more personal channel, we could always do D2L chat, we could do Skype, or, if worse comes to worse, you can meet me at my office on the University Park campus. The textbook is the fourth edition of Interpersonal Messages by Joseph DeVito. It's the one where they have two coffee cups or two coffee uh, Starbucks cups on the front of the cover. If you want to go buy the third edition, which is cheaper, I think, on Amazon, you're more than welcome to do that. But what you should know is there are minor changes between the third and the fourth. But as I've explained to a couple of your classmates already, that should not prevent you from succeeding in this class. I'll give you an example. This past semester, this spring semester, in my face-to-face -face interpersonal class, half the class had the third edition, half the class had the fourth edition, and people made A's and B's using both books. So it doesn't matter which book you're going to use, that's not going to deter you from succeeding in the class. As I said before, this class is entirely online, so you should keep in mind that um, an online class is not a work at your own pace class. That is a uh, that has been falsely advertised. Keep in mind that there are deadlines for certain assignments, and and I will strictly stay with those deadlines. I'm a pretty I'm pretty open in my classes. The one thing I do want you to realize we can't we can't be offensive here. Um, I deem what's offensive and what's not. Yes, I read every discussion board and. Uh, certain cases, I might ask you a question or ask your classmates a question on the discussion board. So you should just be aware that this isn't a free for all. Uh, we need to stick to the assignment and the contents that we're talking about specifically in that discussion board. But I'm not here to uh, demean or demean any of your uh, values and beliefs. All we're here to do is educate people and learn from experiences. This is an online class, so it's expected that you participate. Uh, the last day to drop with a grade of W on your transcript is May the 30th. If you don't log in, and keep in mind, I can see whether you've logged in or not. I can see everything that you do once you log into D2L. If you don't log in for four consecutive days before the drop date, then I will drop you from the class. And if you don't complete two consecutive modules, you will be dropped from the course as well. Um, I'm going to do a qu what's called a quick hit for some of the chapters, not every single one. A quick hit will be me going over a certain course concept or something uh, that I want to go further over in depth. I upload these to YouTube and then I send you all the YouTube link. Um, keep in mind, 
if you look into the content tab of D2L, you will find the module folders, and that's where everything will be housed. I can make a folder called Quick Hits and just house the Quick Hits there if you would like, but they're also going to be under the module folder that you have for each particular module. And there are four modules, which we're about to go over here in a little bit. But uh, there are no makeup exams in this course. Uh, every assignment is due by the due date. And if you have any issue, because this is a communications class, I suspect that the first person you're going to talk to is me, since I'm the professor. However, we do have our department chair, which is Dave Gare, our interim dean of liberal arts, which actually we just hired a new dean, a permanent dean that hasn't been announced yet. But if you have an issue with me, or if you have an issue with the class, and you go straight to the department chair or the dean, the first question they're going to ask you is, did you go talk to your professor? Think about it like this. Some of you uh, out there in this class have jobs. Let's say you work at Starbucks. If you have an issue with your manager at Starbucks, you can't just go straight to the CEO in Seattle. You have to pro follow the proper protocol, the proper channel. So if there's some sort of issue, which I've never had before, um, just come talk to me and we'll figure it out. These are some frequently asked questions that students tend to ask. Keep in mind uh, the best, uh, not necessarily the best one, but the one you need to be aware of is this. Where do I go for technical help? Technical issues is not an excuse in this class. Why is it not an excuse? Because you signed up for an online class, so you're implying that you have everything necessary in order to complete the class online. Saying my computer went out or uh, we didn't have internet access, none of that is valid as an excuse for this class. But if for some reason you have technical issues with D2L, I encourage you to contact OTS. Um, there's the, uh, Here's their phone number and their uh, email address, but you could also do OTS chat or VTAC chat through D2L as well. One of the biggest parts of this class is the discussion boards. Keep in mind, the discussion boards take the place of class participation. Because this is an online class, we don't meet, so we don't have active participation, but we have to translate that somehow to an online class, and that's through the use of discussion boards. I would like you to read this and then read it again. Um, keep in mind, you have an initial post for each chapter. Each chapter is its own discussion board. Your initial post, you're answering the questions that I have put forth for you. All four or five or three or however many questions it is, your answers must total a minimum of 500 words. That does not include the question. Keep, don't write the question. I already know what the questions are. I'm the one that, that put them on there. Um, they must account for a minimum of 500 words. You may think that's a lot, but I can tell you right now, with the questions that you're answering, you're going to hit that really easily. It's going to be fairly easy to hit that. Not meeting that 500 words, you get three points off automatically before I even start to grade. There's something called a first post due date. This is the due date that all of your first post, which is the responses that you have to the questions that I've, asked, that I've asked in the discussion board, this is their particular due date. Now, I've had students in the past say, why do you have a first post due date? And my response to them is this. If I don't have a first post due date, the chances of you posting your responses on the very day the module is due is very, very high. What that does is that prevents your classmates from being able to complete their portion of the assignment, which is to respond to two classmates. So having a first post due date, number one, allows you to have more structure in the classroom. But number two, it gives you ample time to respond in a timely fashion to your classmates, which responding to your classmates is part of the grade as well. Your first post due date if you do not post by the first post due date, that's minus five automatically chopped off the grade before I even start grading. And then you're required to respond to at least two of your classmates. Both responses must be a minimum of 150 words. Not meeting that minimum for just even one of the responses is minus three automatically off the entire discussion board grade. So if I were you, I would just read this pretty thoroughly to understand how to answer a discussion board. And if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Here are your assignments for the class. Uh, you'll be writing three reflection papers. These are very, very short essays, as you can see, 500 to 750 words. 
We'll be doing a looking glass project which deals with your self-concept, your self-esteem, how do you personally feel about yourself when it comes to relationships. We'll be doing a porn project which allows us to express our emotions and get our emotions out there. Um, past students have told me this, this served as a venting process. They were able to vent about their relationships with their girlfriends, their boyfriends, their mothers, their fathers, or their best friends, what have you. Bad breakups. Uh, a lot of people write their porn projects about bad breakups. You'll be analyzing the movie Crash and more information will come uh, within the, the next couple of days about this movie analysis as this is one of your major projects. Uh, there will be three exams in this class and then one final exam at the end. The final exam will be comprehensive. I do not have exam reviews. They are not offered in this course. There will be eight quizzes throughout this, throughout this course worth 10 points apiece. Essentially, each quiz, uh, two quizzes correspond with each module since there are four modules. Uh, this is something to be aware of. There's a syllabus quiz, meaning you're going to be quizzed over this particular <laughs> syllabus uh, to make sure that you've read it and to make sure that you understand it. If you do not complete the syllabus quiz, you will be dropped the very next day. This is a requirement for this class. Why? Because this syllabus serves as the contract that you've read and understand. And once you've read this contract, taken the syllabus quiz, and you've made the decision to either stay or drop, that means that you have agreed to the terms that are within this particular syllabus. You'll be doing class introductions, which you'll see the discussion board for that posted here in a bit. Uh, everything goes to the Turnitin Dropbox. I will be honest with you, this past semester I've had the most uh, automatic Fs I've ever given because students have plagiarized uh, and that's the purpose of turning it into the turn it in Dropbox. That allows me, there's uh, two or three areas that I use in order to determine if you've written this work yourself or if this is taken specifically from other sources and and or other websites in which you all can just Google something and an essay pop out. All of that comes back to me. I will tell you right now, there should be no reason to plagiarize because everything you're writing is your own, most of it, what you're writing is your own experience. I do not accept any late work, so be aware of that. And there could be extra credit opportunities throughout the course of this semester. So here are your evaluations and assignments. You'll have 11 discussion boards, a syllabus quiz, uh, eight quizzes, three exams, a final exam, the movie analysis, the RPs, reflection papers, Form project, looking glass project, and your class introductions. And then this is the course calendar that we're following. As I said before, remember, we're collapsing an entire semester's worth of work into three and a half weeks. So does this seem like a lot? Yes, but that's the whole point of a mini semester. You all signed up for this because you want to get this three hours out of the way very quickly. So when you look at this, Understand how your schedule works. If you have a full-time job, if you're just at home from a four-year institution and you're just chilling on mom and dad's couch, understand when the due dates are, what you can do, and see if you can work ahead to make sure you get everything that you need uh, in order to succeed in this course. If anything changes with the course calendar, you will be the first to know. If I change the course calendar, it's always, always, always for the benefit of you, the student. I will never change something and not tell you. I will never move up a due date. If anything, I always move back due dates for the benefit of you, the student. The one thing you need to realize when you read this section of the syllabus, uh, University Park Campus and System Policies, keep in mind, I know some of you go to other campuses, but we abide by the policies from University Park as that's where I am housed and that's where my office is. The withdrawal date, the last day to drop with a grade of W is May the 30th. After that, I call it the point of no return. And what that means is whatever grade you earned in the course will go on your uh, transcript. If there's any questions about anything regarding the Lone Star College policies uh, and um, the campus policies and what our rules are here at University Park, please let me know or put it in the discussion board and I'll be sure to ask it uh, or I'll be sure to answer it. I'm sorry. Uh, keep in mind, uh, you can use any of these services at any campus, but at University Park, we have a writing center, we have tutoring, we have a technology lab, we just got an innovation lab where you can check out iPads and 
uh, you know, those things that you see in the commercials where you put on the, the goggles and it shows all this stuff. We have everything at your disposal in order for you to succeed in this course. So please, please, please take advantage of that. Uh, the library, you can use the uh, UP library, you can use any library on any LSE campus. Uh, just, just be aware of everything that's at your disposal in order for you to succeed in the class. And then finally, the syllabus caveat. Keep in mind, I own the syllabus, nobody else does, not the president, not the dean, not the chancellor. I own it so I can change it whenever I want. But as I said before, I will only change it if it benefits you as the student. So in a nutshell, that is the syllabus for this particular class. Uh, you wanna take this out. A PDF copy of this will be available in the content tab of D2L throughout the entirety of the semester. You want to take this out, peruse it at your leisure, look at the calendar, look at the due dates, put them in your, your personal calendar so that you know. Understand, and I can't harp this enough, as you guys have heard, um, this is a fast-paced course, a mini-mester designed to collapse four months, four and a half months of information into three weeks. So we are going to go super, super quickly uh, because we have to be done by June the 4th. If there's any questions, as I said before, use the discussion board. You can email me in D2L. I'm on Twitter. I have a, a Twitter address here. If there's any questions, please let me know. I hope this little brief explanation of the syllabus has been very helpful, and I look forward to getting this class started.